I changed the way my lower body works. Um, I'm focused on like more of a hip hinge movement, which gets your, your glutes involved. Um, you hear as a kid, like throw with your legs. Well, I had never been properly taught what that really meant. So now I'm actually activating my legs in a way that takes some pressure off my arm. By cleaning up the way my lower body moves, it shortened up my arm path. So I used to have this really long whippy arm motion, and now it's much closer to the body. It might look like a short arm action to a lot of people, um, but really it's just the product of the way my body's moving. The ball's coming out extremely well. I've added some spin on my fastball. I'm getting more carry on it. Added some spin on my slider. Um, so health is the main goal, but I think performance will be a really good byproduct of it. I mean, he is really talking about breaking it down there, from breaking down everything he did and going back to square one. And I'm shocked to hear that nobody had him engage his lower half earlier in his career. Yeah, it's shocking to hear that. But this is the end result that he was just talking about answering Jack's question. You can see when he was in Pittsburgh how far away his right hand is to his ear. Now these are from his Twitter feed and him throwing this offseason. You can see that baseball right behind his right ear. He's definitely tightened up the swing, his arm swing. This is just a look at him tossing off of the mound. And again, you can see how much different that arm swing is, how much closer it is towards his head and his ear. I think that's going to give him some deception. It's probably going to take some stress off of his arm. Whenever you look at a pitcher who's got that big arm swing, there's just a lot more moving parts going on, and it's going to be tougher for everything to be on time. Yeah. If he can shorten up that arm swing, use his legs a little bit more, all of a sudden it becomes a little bit easier. It's like a hitter, Bob, who gets ready to hit early, and all of a sudden all you got to do is watch the baseball and take your swing. If he can get into his legs, shorter arm swing, everything should be easier for him. Yeah, that video tells a great story, Jack. Everything's so compact and everything driving right towards the plate. Yeah, it's a much smoother look for him, and he's also a big video guy. He said on that Zoom call that he said to pitching coach Matt Blake, I'm going to be sending a lot of video to you. I want you to critique it and dissect it, but I'm with both of you guys. I was surprised by his answer that the legs haven't been incorporated more to this point in his career. David Cohen has talked about how you get your powers from your legs. That's where everything starts. Garrett Cole, his buddy, has talked about that, too. But credit to him for once he had the second Tommy John surgery, saying, during this rehab, I had nothing but time. So I was going to strip it down. I was going to go back to the basics. And now with what he called that cleaner lower body movement, it takes pressure off the elbow, and things just look as if they're in sync so much better. You know, when you just mentioned David Cohn and Garrett Cole, it just reminds me how much you enjoy listening to them talk about pitching. I get the same feeling from this guy, right, that he's a pitching geek. He can't get enough of the information. But the one thing that we've heard recently is the Yankees, Aaron Boone reached out to Garrett Cole to find out about the makeup, the personality. And Cole gave him a you know glowing endorsement that this is a guy that we want to have on our team. He makes everybody better. He works hard. He's going to be up for the challenge. We have to remember, that this guy beat cancer and came back and pitched uh, at a high level. So there's a lot going on with his ability, the changes that he's made. But I think one of the things the Yankees are going to love about him supposedly is his makeup, his fire, his desire, and his desire to be great.